Jonathan, it's me. Look, I know I'm probably the last person you want to talk to right now, but I... There's something I have to tell you, so... Call me, please. <sighs> Olivia, it's Reva. Uh, when you get this message, could you call me back, please? I found out that your sister's husband is very much alive. And I can't find Jonathan to warn him about his father, and we both know what he's capable of. I think we have to find him before he finds us. <laughs> mm, I guess we both lost something, huh? You lost your baby. I lost my mother. I'm not saying those two things are equal. It's just... loss. <sighs> what? You never told me what happened. Hmm. Doesn't matter. Mothers come and go like the tide. Oh, come on. You don't mean that. I spent most of my life dreaming what it would be like to have a mother. Cue the violin. <laughs> Stop. It was pretty great. It's pretty great to finally find her and have her. Uh, the connection was pretty amazing, you know? I mean, even if we weren't getting along, my mother loves me very much. I think she would do anything to protect me. Yeah, well, I'm better off without mine. And you're better off not being an incubator. Don't talk about it that way. Oh. I love that baby. Maybe you like being alone, but I don't. I know. But you would have been. That baby belonged to Cassie and Edmund. Yeah, but there was a life growing inside of me. And it was my link to Edmund and all the plans I had. very hard to tell anyone that I lost it. How long are you going to keep this up? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe until I'm pregnant with Edmund's baby for real? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want a baby. I just want some mindless sex. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk? Come 
seen earlier with your son. Is that what the phone calls around? I came back here to tell you that I'm quitting. <laughs> you don't have to do that. Look, Angel, if, if I went too far... No, the... it, it's not that. Well, actually, it is part of that. I mean, if you play with fire, you're going to get burned. And I have been spontaneously combusting several times a day, as it is. So you should stay away from anything flammable? Something like that. What happened with Jonathan was a cold slap in the face for me. And he desperately needs someone to love him. Someone to try to undo the damage that was done to him by that miserable piece of garbage. Trump. Yeah. I mean, what else do you call a man who willfully destroys a child that he was trusted to raise? Hmm. I'll admit, it's, it's hard to find much good in Jonathan. Sure, his mother. Well, you know, I was there for the creation and absent for the duration. That's me. He'd actually get a laugh out of that. I just think there comes a time when a young man has to take responsibility for his life. I mean, his old man's gone, right? That's actually what the phone call was. It appears that Jonathan's adoptive father is alive. And I could never forgive myself if I didn't make him face what he did to my kid. You need to quit this job to do that. I need to quit this job because I love my husband, Nate. And I, I need to help my son, too. I, we need to find this man that nearly destroyed him. Well, on that point, all I can say is look no further. Dinah, come on. Love, let me in. Get out. Get your clothes. No, I wouldn't miss this for the world. I have a pass key, Dinah. I can just open the door. Get away from the door. Dinah, is something wrong? Uh, no, I, um, I just, I'm not feeling well. I have morning sickness. Still. You keep your mouth shut. You keep your mouth shut about this. I don't, don't laugh. You keep your mouth shut about this baby. What do I get? You're gonna get mindless sex, okay? All you can handle. I can handle a lot. Just, do we have a deal? Sounds like fair trade. Okay. But, I, whatever will we do about the baby? Stop, give me the baby and put it on. You gotta help me put it on. Come on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Dinah, I'm coming in. Wait a minute. No, coming in. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing. I actually got dizzy, so I went to the bathroom, and then I got dizzy again, and I had to go to the bathroom again. Well, are you okay? Do you want me to call a doctor? Uh, yeah. No, 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 no. I'm actually, I'm feeling, I'm good. I'm good. You just went to the bathroom three times. Except for that, I'm good. Was Edmund here? No, why would Edmund be here? Because you seem nervous and you seem scared. You make me nervous, that's why. Since when do I make you nervous? Uh, since the pressure of carrying your baby and the challenge, you know? I mean, my gosh, would you just give me a break? Okay. You know, you... You could tell me if Edmund were here, right? I mean, did he threaten you? <sighs> Don't worry, Annie. Cassie, as long as I'm here, no one's gonna lay a hand on my dynamite. 
Ain't that right, Sugar Plum? Hush, shh, shh, Harley. Harley, Harley, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's nothing, there's nothing we can do. Come here. Come here. With me, now. No, no, my son shot. That's not supposed to happen. Alan, Alan, listen to me. You want to get caught? Not another son. No. Now you can hit me all you want, but it's not going to change the fact. But you shot the man I love. Listen to me. He had a gun. He was reaching for it. I didn't know what he was going to do. You're a liar. that you can raise them, but we have to run. Come on. Come on. We gotta get out of here. Freeze. Easy. Easy. I'm a prison warden and a former detective with the Springfield PD. I'm gonna reach into my jacket and show you some ID. Okay? So easy on that finger. Okay? Take it off the trigger. Now listen, pal. You're young. You don't want to mess this up, okay? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to call for backup. And then you're going to call in at 1038 for an ambulance. We got a guy here that's been shot. He was aiding and abetting a fugitive. You took him out? Call for backup. This place is about to be swimming in blue. If someone recognizes you, hey. I need a doctor. I should never have sent Malin after Harley. It's all her fault. Alan, 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 I need to calm down. I will not. I want my son, not you. Listen to me, Alan, Alan. I'm your only salvation now, okay? So if you be quiet, we're gonna get out of this. It'll be fine. It should have been Harley. It should have been Harley. Alan, death waits for everyone. She'll have her day. What's the problem? Um, this is uh, Alan Spaulding. He's a very, very influential man. Um, he needs treatment, and he needs you to be discreet. Mr. Spaulding is generous to those who take care of him. Very generous, if you catch my drift. Well, do you know what's wrong with him? Um, nothing critical. He's just had a very terrible shock. He's had some really bad news. The thing is, he has a heart condition, okay? And I want to make sure he gets the best of care, <laughs> starting with something to calm him down. Calm his, calm his nerves and a private room. We have a top cardiologist on call. I'll make sure he understands the situation. Okay, thank you. Thanks. It's my fault. It's my fault, Alan. Everything's going to be okay. No, 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 it isn't. My son's Philip. The blood. You mean Gus, Alan. It's okay. You're confused. Once you pull the trigger, It's easy to do again. Do you know something? About Jonathan's abusive freak of a father? I know I want to help you find him. Oh, I appreciate that. But... Reva, look, um, I have been cause of some trouble in your life. And Josh is out of town. And, um, and I want to lose you. Nate. As, as a friend. And my best mixologist. You shouldn't have to find this guy by yourself. I don't even know where to start looking for him. And I have no idea how dangerous he is. But, but exactly. You need assistance. Someone to watch you back. Well, you've got me. If I need any help, I'll get it from my family. Do you really want to involve them? No, I don't. But I'm already too involved with you. I need to get back to my real family. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm the dirty little secret that swept under the rug. No, no. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. No, don't say that. No, you, you made your choice. Just know that this place is always here for you should you change your mind.
great. No, what what did you I do? Just, just, it, it's a, oh, drops of glass. God, let me let me help you. Oh, I think I, I know. I'm sorry. I, I upset you. It's my fault. Oh, <laughs> Ow. What is he doing here? Did he force himself in here? Well, first of all, no one forced anyone to do anything. You should know I've never had to force a woman. I'm not saying I've never lied to a woman. Say another word and I'm going to make your face look like your hair. Get out before I call security. Actually, Jonathan's been very sweet. See? I can do sweet. With Edmund acting all crazy lately, I've been a nervous wreck. And the fact that Jonathan is no friend of his uncle, I thought he was a perfect person to hang out with. Get a guard dog, Dinah. <laughs> He's super comforting. I'd like to comfort you, too, if you want. I'd rather chew glass. Thank you. Thank you for coming by. I appreciate it. You know, I've been dealing with life without Edmund just fine, and I don't need to be comforted by you or anybody else. No, I didn't want to comfort you about Eddie. I wanted to comfort you about your baby. I'm sorry that that can't happen now. Take a little breather here for a while. I can't breathe. I can't move. We can stay safe if we stay low. Okay, stay in during the day. Harley. You gotta trust me on this one. Trust me on this one. Everything's going to be okay. Gus was keeping me safe. And I loved him. I don't love you. You didn't want a chance to do right by me. You didn't want to save me. You wanted to hurt him. Did you really think? In your wildest dreams that I would want to be with you? I hate you. No, no, no. Easy, Harley. Easy. Calm down. Calm down. Harley? Harley, that's enough. That's enough. Calm down. If Gus has to die, why shouldn't you? <laughs> it's no big deal. Cutting your hand on a glass is an occupational hazard. Well... On the other hand, you see what happens when I lose my best bartender. You could learn to make a one-handed martini. <laughs> There's a selling point. Get some flyers made up. I'll stay on until you find a replacement. There's no replacement for you, Reva. I don't know how long I meant what I said. You're leaving me. Don't put it that I'm way. I'm sorry, look. You stay on for a couple of shifts. I'll help you find your son's dad. Deal? Yeah. But first, I have to find Jonathan. And after raising my hand to him today, I doubt whether he'll ever want to speak to me again. What do you mean the baby's not going to happen? What are you talking about? Well, now that you and Eddie are no longer together, you can't try and make another kid. So you're just going to have to trust the rent of womb here. And I'll do everything in my power to make sure that that happens. Well, I hope you're not offended if I say no thanks. Why would I care if you're offended? Cassie. Here's something for you, Jonathan. Stay the hell away from my baby. I don't know if you've heard, but I've been hanging out with the DA lately. Ooh. Why so hostile? Jonathan, you should go. Okay. I'll go. Staying away is going to be a bit of a dilemma, though. You see, me and your gestational... whatever you call it, we're seeing each other now. I think I'm going to be sick. And that would make a good greeting card. Bye. Of all the men you could have picked. Oh. Is 
There's a lot of stuff going on here that you don't have a clue about, okay? Now listen, Alan's... Alan's the one that got me out of prison. It was his team of lawyers... You're working with... Alan Spaulding? To nail his own son? Who are you? Listen, I'm telling you... You have been so waiting... You all these years for me. And when you realized I had moved on with my life, you couldn't handle it. I just wanted you to be happy. You keep saying that. Well, you know it's true. You know that I want... Me. You want me. Well, here I am. I'm right here. Only you'll never have me. You will never kiss me. You will never hold me. You will never love me. Because I love him. You should have just left me alone in prison. Because at least when I was in prison, I knew that he was out here, alive. And now, I'll be alone for the rest of my life. Hell. I'm not gonna be with you. So, uh, that's how you feel. Okay. Then do it. called? Yeah, I did. Where's your boss? Um, he's in the back. Rhea, but did Nate hurt you? No, 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 but I do. There's something I have to tell you. Your father is alive. No, it's not. Jonathan. There was a boating accident. No, the authorities think that he faked that accident to avoid creditors, and that he started a new life. So, as long as he stays away from me? We have to find him. No. Reva, you stay the hell no, out of it. No, because you never got a chance to confront him when we went back to that old house. I don't care, Reva. If we ever want to be whole again, or be normal, never have to do what we did to each other today, you have to take that rage that is inside you and you have to throw it in his face. You have to face him. You can't see him anymore. Excuse me? You heard me. He makes me laugh. He makes me happy. How is that bad for pregnancy? You have no idea what he's capable of. Maybe not. But I certainly know what Edmund is capable of. And I don't want you spying on me. I'm not spying on you. Then why are you here? You'll see. Hi. Dinah, this is Twyla. She is a nurse midwife. Twyla is going to be your doula. <laughs> My who? Think of me as full-time, hands-on, pregnancy, labor, and delivery support. It's oh. nice to meet you, Diana. <laughs> you are not getting your hands on me. This doctor's on his way. Thank you. Thank you so much. Alan, you're going to be fine. 
okay? I gave you a mild sedative, and it's going to help you sleep. So you just need to relax. That sounds... Come on. I know. You said you felt responsible for Gus and Philip's deaths. Both of them. Alan, Alan, it wasn't your fault. You're a good father. You, um, you sent Mallet after Harley so that you could protect Gus. Not Gus. Philip. I did it. I did it. prison warden for so long you would you stop would you just stop and listen to me listen to me if you're through feeling sorry for yourself and hating me maybe it's time for you to listen Go of listen me. to me gus isn't dead okay he's not dead what he's gonna go on living maybe even happily ever after with you but you're gonna have to start doing what you're told trusting me and doing what gus is asking you to do what are you talking about gus is alive he's not shot now, do you want to hear more, or do you want to run out into the street and have the cops arrest you? Because if you do that, then we're all going to prison. Forget the ambulance. This guy needs a hearse. Jonathan. This is your chance, you know, to... to shake off this man. To stand up to him. You don't know him like I do. I'm not afraid of him. And you shouldn't be either. He's a bully. Only bullies hit kids. Yeah. What kind of parent hits their son? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that, but... But I can help you. No. I don't want to find him. I know you're angry with me right now. If you only knew. If I only knew what? What? Jonathan, don't do this, please. Don't, don't. No. What is wrong? Don't do this to yourself. Don't do this to everyone else around you. All right, whatever. Suit yourself. You want to go find this guy? Go find him. I don't care what he is or where he is or what he's doing as long as he stays away from me. And that goes for you too, okay? Everything all right? In here. Yeah. I'm it's out. fine. Stay for a bit. I owe you one. No, you don't owe me anything. Jonathan, please, just... Please, come, come home with me so that we can talk. I'm all talked out. Stay for that free beer, though, if, if you're leaving. I'll, I'll call you. Would you offer her? Help her find your adoptive dad. How long do you reckon that's gonna take? It's not gonna take a long time. Let me just sell this stuff and move on. I got you on my side. You could have told Reva who I was. But she didn't. Doesn't mean I won't. Oh, come on. Are you kidding? You've chosen your side. You're my boy. You're not hers. Reva won't know we'll hit her. Okay, I, I get that 
she's a little funky and a little new age, okay? But Twyla is amazing, and she also has an amazing gift of making sure babies come into the world healthy. Now, don't you think that's the most important thing here? What am I going to say, no, that that's not important? Of course, I just don't want to be rushed into something, that's all. Let's just take this step by step. We'll go slow, okay? Okay. No touchy-touchy. I'm fine with that for now. We'll start with some simple breathing exercises, Cassie. Uh -huh. Is wrong. Uh, it's just uh, <laughs> the whole baby thing is becoming so real. You know, that's what we want. Thank, thank you, Dinah. I'm, I'm very grateful. You know, and this is just a gift, and it's wonderful that you're helping bring this new life into the world. There's hope. Somebody, I can help you. I want to help you. Leave you. I, uh, your sons. Your sons are gone, Alan. But I'm here. I'm here. And now I can be your son. So all of a sudden, Gus is alive? No, no, he's been alive all along. Why do I believe anything that you tell me? There were no bullets in the gun. So Gus is alive? He's fine? Yes, we had a plan. Okay, it wasn't a perfect one, but at least we got oh you out of here. What are you doing? You're doing this again. Would you stop oh doing this? I wanted to How tell you. you make me go through something like that? You? What about me? I was the one on the wrong side of the gun. I was trying to keep the plan going as long as I could. Wait a second. So Gus is alive? Yes. <laughs> it was Gus's idea. He came up with the plan. Yeah, but you were the one who let me believe it was true. I was suffering. I was crying in front of you. I held a gun to you. I knew that you wouldn't shoot him. I knew it! I was trying to do the best I could. Gus and I ran in each other to the TV studio. We had about two seconds to come up with something. And we had to make it look good. We had to make it look real. Especially to you. To make sure that you would run away with me. Run away? We knew you wouldn't leave Gus's side unless there was no hope. No hope? Is there an echo in here? Yes. Look, we had to make the situation so ex extreme that you wouldn't have a choice. Right. We could jumpstart your instincts for your own survival. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you brought up my kids when you did, right? Yes. Gus knew the, your best chance for survival was if you two split up. And that's where you conveniently came in. Someone get forensics down here and deal with this body. Sorry, pal. Now, 
I did my part, now you need to do yours. Stop getting your back up about the methods and look at the results. Gus is keeping the cops busy, so you were able to escape. Well, you boys have had your fun. At my expense, I might add. But I am not leaving Gus out there to take the fall from me, no way! Gus's only chance is to get away on his own. There's nothing you can do for him now. The only thing you can do now is let me protect you.